Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to introduce you how to perform gene set enrichment analysis with Python. Okay, so this is called GSEA, um, GSEA analysis. So this is a very uh, commonly used uh, uh, analysis uh, for RNA-seq, for CRISPR uh, screen analysis, for mass spectrum, etc. And uh, usually you will get a gene, uh, a gene, and ranks them a set of gene, uh, either genome-wide or some gene that you are uh, a, a subgroup of genes you are interested in, uh, and then you will rank these genes. Uh, with its differential expression, with its log pole change, or with its enrichment, okay? And then uh, you want to know uh, whether there are some uh, pathways or gene ontology or gene set that are enriched in the top hits or in the uh, either uh, either up, up regulation or down regulation uh, on either side, okay? So here I show uh, also the CRISPR uh, screen result with genes and with its differential expression uh, essentiality in uh, PM5 inhibition and uh, uh, DMSO control uh, DMSO control uh, condition. Okay, this is the uh, differential expression uh, that score. So I rank it. So with this uh, rank, I can perform the GSEA with the GSEA pipe uh, Python package. And then I will get to the top rank gene set that I reached uh, in the top. Okay, so get this uh, publication quality uh, figures. So you can see these figures in many different uh, uh, papers, right? Okay, now I will tell you how uh, to perform this kind of analysis with uh, uh, GSEA, GSEA Pi. Okay, so. Uh, to beginning, uh, you will need to install the GSEA Pi. So it's a pp install. And then you need uh, to import the GSEA and the pandas. So pandas is to read this uh, 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 CRISPR screen result. Uh, I think this uh, table uh, is uh, generated uh, in my uh, Previous video describing the CRISPR screen analysis. So we get this uh, table with genes and with in PMT5 inhibition condition and the DMSO condition. So uh, we rank this uh, based on the differential essential in these two conditions and get this uh, Z score. So we rank this gene based on the differential essential Z score. Okay. We add a, a rank column and uh, assign the uh, Z, Z score to it, uh, to this uh, column, and then sort this uh, sort values by the rank. Okay, set in place as true, and we can uh, see this uh, uh, data frame right now is uh, uh, based on the. Where is the rank? Okay, here is the rank. So we get this rank, and uh, uh, and it's uh, in exceeding order. Uh, okay. So with this, uh, we we uh, need to further uh, get the uh, tables that uh, as the input for the GSC analysis. The GSC analysis only the two columns. So we just get the gene and the rank, okay? So this is a, a rank data frame. The rank data frame is just this uh, gene the, and the rank, okay? So then we need to set the gene sets we want to uh, perform the analysis. Usually the uh, the GSEA, uh, the GSPI already have some uh, libraries in, um, so within, uh, there are many different libraries you can select, or you can also define your own uh, your own gene set. Okay, um, there are some like uh, disease related, 
encode the uh, uh, projects and the geo okay geo analysis geo biological process is uh, very widely used and also KEGG and uh, and uh, the the MI uh, the M uh, signal DB okay um, we can also use some Python uh, Panther and PFARM also the rectum the pathways okay so here I only select uh, I only uh, use the geo biological process as an example okay so you set this uh, GP dot free rank so uh, give this uh, data frame rank as input and uh, set a set seed uh, to mean uh, to ensure the reproducibility okay I just run it and uh, the GCA result is uh, and uh, is a all is a dictionary so uh, with uh, the key uh, the keys of the the keys of this dictionary is the uh, terms in the gene set okay so you can see uh, this uh, we, we just uh, print the first uh, first key of this uh, dictionary so it's a protein d uh, coordination and uh, the uh, second uh, the, the values are another dictionary with different uh, information of this uh, term uh, the enrichment score, the negative enrichment score, the p-value, the FDR, and the genes. Okay, so uh, so these are the information it provided, and then uh, we can uh, we can output this uh, information uh, to extract these informations as an output data frame. So we input the p-value, the FDR the negative enrichment score, the enrichment score, and the lead, lead genes, okay? So we can get this uh, 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 as a, a data frame. We can see uh, the first one is neurons, the central neuron system development. The p-value is very small, and the uh, FDR is uh, uh, maybe it's good, okay? And uh, the genes, that are in this uh, in the top of the heat of our list okay and uh, then we can uh, plot this uh, different uh, plot the gsea uh, result for different terms for example uh we can plot the gsc figure for a specific term that let the term to plot as the first one of the term of a, of our data frame and here I would like to uh, use matplotlib to set the font size and the font family. So this uh, font is uh, usually for the publications. Uh, many journals require the font family. Uh, this font gem, uh, family, okay. And uh, okay, you can put the GSEA result ranking, and term is the uh, term to plot and uh, in terms of plot result okay and uh, so with this uh, we can also uh, save a high resolution figure uh, as my uh, gsea plot uh, png okay so um, we can uh, we can also plot the all the figures for the top 10 terms, okay. Use a, use a P, uh, for loop, can plot all these uh, figures, okay. And uh, our, uh, our, our result, is also okay we can we can look into this uh, save figure here okay we have a high it's a high resolution figure i saved in a local directory so this is a uh, uh, ready for publication okay 
you can see many uh, uh, journals, uh, papers have these kind of figures, okay? Um, okay, I think that's kind of the end of, of this, this uh, video. I hope you find this helpful for your uh, analysis, uh, for your GSEA analysis, okay? Uh, I'm, I guess uh, many of you guys may encounter this kind of uh, analysis sooner or later, okay? Uh, either your RNA seq, either your mass spectrum or CRISPR screens. So uh, you need to practice uh, using my uh, the data the data set I provided as an example. Uh, if you uh, don't have if you haven't encountered any projects using this uh, GSE analysis, so if if you happen to have this kind of analysis, just try this and I. I I hope you will uh, get the result you want. Okay, so if you find my video, uh, this video helpful, don't forget to like the video and smash the subscribe button and uh, get uh, fine tuned to uh, get stay tuned for my uh, later up uh, updates. I will also introduce uh, CSA analysis in R. Okay, so if you're not if I, you are uh, not uh, pass on. Uh, developer and you you prefer to use R, it also has a package for that, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, bye bye, I will see you next time.